everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to yet another weekend vlog. I wanted to start this vlog even though I'm currently working today. I don't really have that much work to do, but also if you hear the sound of a small motor, that is my dog. There's currently some dogs walking by that she loathes. One of them is her mortal enemy. So we'll see, we'll see how loud she gets, but I'm excited for this weekend. It is currently Friday at about noon. I just had an interview to do for a client and I should probably, I guess, write that part of the article that I'm working on. <laughs> Belly, please. <laughs> sweet girl yeah you scared him away good job anyways yes I as I was saying just had an interview for an article that I'm writing and I don't really have anything else going on today that's like pressing for work which is great everything's kind of up in limbo so who knows what I'll end up doing today but I did want to come in and tell you Oh, I forgot my tea down here earlier. Whoops. Tell you which books that I'm reading this weekend. So if you remember, last weekend I was doing a massive like just 24 hour readathon where I wanted to get as much read as I could to get some books off my plate. I am very happy that I did that because this week I ended up starting The Midnight Bargain by C.L. Polk and this is so good you guys. I am nearly done. I have like two hours left of the audiobook or something at the speed that I'm listening to it at and I am loving it, loving it. It is basically set in a Victorian world where magic isn't hidden and like it's just part of you. But in this world, these women, any women who are sorceresses don't like it can't access their magic because their purpose in life is to get married and then have children. So it's very our world Victorian ideals but mixed with magic and sorceresses. So our main character, uh, Beatrice, she, at the beginning of this, ends up like she is searching for grimoires, which are these like hidden books that can teach you magic. Men don't really know what they are, only women do. So they're written by women for women in this situation. And at the very beginning of this, she finds a grimoire in a bookstore, but it's like taken from her by this other sorceress and her brother right from under her hands. And then she, Beatrice gets tied up in this because like she's basically her family's last chance at anything because her dad is pouring his entire fortune into basically getting her a husband so that she can be well off and thus be like hopefully get a good enough like a high up enough husband that he can like take care of her younger sister Harriet and get her the husband that she desperately desperately wants because Harriet just wants that life she's like yes give me a husband any day all day this is what I want in my life I want to be romantic and all this kind of stuff but Beatrice very much does not want that she is terrified of it. M more than anything, she wants to have magic. We love a feminist piece of literature and just like wanting women to be equal and it is so good, it's so good. We have Beatrice who's trying to do this and she meets Isbeta, another lady who's also trying to do the same thing. And I think we also have a romantic rep in this because Isbeta does not want to get married at all. And she, there's a moment in this that she says like, I have never been, I've never had that feeling for any man or woman ever, and I don't think I ever will. So possible a romantic rep in this. I'm excited about it and I'm nearly done it. So I will let you know how I feel about that probably today when I finish it. And of course, I'm also still reading Kings of the Wild because I have not devoted the time to sit down and listen to it. But these are the two books that I'm going to hopefully finish up this weekend. And if and when I do, I have two more on my TBR that I am very excited to get to, and I don't know which one I'm going to read once I get to them. So I have the audiobook for The Centaur's Wife as well, and I think Scribd has the audiobook for Gilded Ones. I think I've checked like four times, and if it doesn't, I'll probably just read it physically because I'm very excited about this book. So these are the last two that I will be reading in March. Other than that, I'm also going to be working on my critique partner work because my critique partner that I talked about in my previous vlog, 
I have finished her pages and sent them off and everything is off my plate with her but I have another critique partner I have Erin who's absolutely lovely and I have the rest of her manuscript to read and I would like to get a good chunk of that done this weekend and just like entrance entrench myself in that book and her world that she's written so I can really wrap my head around it and give her the best feedback that I can so it's time for the weekend my friends oh another thing that I could update you on I am currently working on another sweater because apparently that's all I do ever and it's gonna be a rainbow sweater which I'm very excited about so we have so far these four colors done for one panel and three colors done for another panel but I'm gonna be doing the pink for the other panel and then I also have a yellow and a blue that I have to do for that as well which is probably what I'm gonna be working on the most when I listen to my audiobooks this weekend is crocheting because you guys know I love me so I'm crochet but this sweater is very soft and I'm very excited about it because with the previous sweater that I made that was like intended to be a sweater but ended up being a sweater dress I uh well it didn't work out that way <laughs> a I wanted it to be a sweater but it ended up being a sweater dress kind of a situation. I want a, I want a proper knitted, proper crocheted sweater that I can wear. That's basically the gist of that. But yeah, I'm gonna go back upstairs. I'm taking my midnight bargain and my switch because I'm getting back into Animal Crossing recently. I miss it. <laughs> and bunny day is coming up soon, so that's awesome. But yeah, this is the start of the vlog. I've been talking for so long. I will catch up with you guys later. Hey friends. It is now a little bit later. I am here in my library because I finished the Midnight Bargain. You guys, it was so good. I enjoyed this so much. It was such a good like Victorian romance, but with like the fantasy world, mm, just impeccable. I cannot wait to throw this into Cop Bell. It's gonna be such a high rating such a high rating. I loved this book. I think this is my favorite book that I've read in March. Possibly all year because I've had a kind of a weird reading year. <laughs> oh guys, this was so good. CL Poke, they know what's up. They know how to write a damn story. It is so good. Oh my god. Something just spoke to me like right away. I like, for, like not even 40 pages in I was sitting there. I was like, I'm gonna love this book. This is gonna be so good, which is <sighs> I haven't had that in so long. <laughs> Thank god. Okay, but okay. On page 10, this is from Beatrice. She snapped the book shut and fought the joyful squeak that threatened to escape her. She stood very still and let her heart soar in silence with the book pressed to her chest, breathing in its ink and magic. Just like, yes, please. Always. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. Just delicious. This was delicious. And I deserved every second of it after the kind of weird reading month I've had. Oh, so good. Anyways, I am actually alone tonight because mom and dad are going out for dinner for the first time in a long time. And they're, they're still here right now. They're kind of fighting with my grandparents on the phone because my grandparents are well into their 80s and they don't understand technology. <laughs> so whenever they get emails from stuff, it's really fun. But you know, the whole like, because we booked them in to get their COVID vaccine and it's all like really, really online and automated. So it, like my mom had to do a lot of stuff for them. They just really don't understand it, but that's what they're doing right now. But tonight, I'm gonna make myself some dinner and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Am I gonna watch some Dimension 20? Maybe. Am I gonna watch some Campaign 1 of Vox Machina of Critical Role? Maybe. D&D, you guys, it's so good. This is like completely taking the place of like TV shows and movies for me. It's just watching D&D. So I'm living my best life, but yes. Midnight Bargain is done. Another book read in the month of March. I am happy with this. I think I might right now because I was before this and like after work kind of I started working on my critique pages for Erin and I'm like at the point in her story where I've like sunk into it and I'm like just reading it like a book and it's fantastic and I'm enjoying myself so much so I have that as well that I'm working on that I was doing and I think I reached like page 110 or something in her manuscript so cruising right along but right now I'm going to go I think I'm gonna grab Kings of the Wild and like bring it with me if I want to read it I'm gonna have a great evening I can just tell I haven't had like an evening to myself in 
well over like six, seven months now. So this is gonna be so nice. It's gonna be so, so nice. <laughs> Anyways, I will catch up with you guys a little later. You haven't seen me from this view for a while. I'm sitting on my couch today. Mom and dad aren't home, so I get to film in like the main body of the house. This is fantastic. I just finished dinner and I just watched Kevin from Irish Reader's new video, his where he watches The Vampire Diaries, the first video, first video, first show for the first time, or not for the first time, he's like re-watching it and doing like commentary, I think. It makes me wanna watch the show. <laughs> Back in high school, I think I got through most of season one, but then I stopped because I'm the kind of person, I get so attached to the first love interest that shows give me like Dean from Gilmore Girls, I got so attached to that friggin' child. I was like, no, 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 he's too, no, he can't, you can't break up with Dean for Jess, what are you doing? So I stopped the first time. Now that I'm like 24, I'm 23. Jesus, that's the second time I've done that. I don't turn 24 until September, Who? Now that I'm 23, I can kind of get over that a little bit, but I'm still like, you give me one love interest and I will, devour that. So the fact that Stefan in this show, the first brother, is the first love interest of Delena. Delena? Is that her name? I don't know. And I knew that Damon was her like end game or whatever. I was irritated and I was like, I don't want to go through that. So I stopped watching it. Do I watch some Vampire Diaries? It's Friday night. I'm home alone. <laughs> Do I watch some Vampire Diaries? <laughs> Honestly, it has been so long since I've watched a TV show in general that I think going back into watching TV shows, watching a trashy one is just like giving myself a gift, you know? Yeah, I think I might watch the Vampire Diaries. Oh, it's not on Netflix, damn. <laughs> Thank God for, you know, the internet. Uh, and I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna see how it goes. But I'll, let, I'll, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. I am here. I woke up with a little bit of a headache, but I also woke up with the realization that I started this vlog wrong. <laughs> this is the last weekend in March. I thought I had another weekend in March, but no, this is the last weekend because it is the 27th of March today. I feel like a buffoon. It's fine. It's fine. Time is a construct anyways, but today is my live stream. So I'm either going to work on Project Dragon because thinking of staring at a screen kind of hurts my eyes a little bit, but by then I should be okay because it's in a few hours from now. So I could work on Project Dragon and or I work on my critique partner pages that I was starting last week. And I probably should do that because that's a priority to finish by the end of March. So is my plot for Project Dragon, but like, because it's Camp Nano, I think I might decide to do something different for Camp Nano than I usually do, which is just drafting. I think I might make it a goal to actually plot and draft Pro uh, Project Dragon in April. We'll like start plotting Project, or start drafting Project Dragon because I just don't feel the need to be fast drafting right now. That story's not quite there yet, so there is that. But if I do start, working on Project Dragon. I need to pick a notebook for it, so come with me and you'll see a world of pure imagination, aka my little shelf of wonders here. So I have this stack of notebooks on my shelf. So this is Project Adventure, this is Project Dark, this I think I started writing in, yeah, and then this is Project Yellow, which Will I ever return to that? We don't know. So that leaves me with four. <laughs> with four of these for Project Dragon. And I think the top one might be it. I have to take this sticker off because the other three don't really give me Project Dragon vibes. Like this seems really fun. This also seems really fun. And this seems really fun, but like none of these give me Project Dragon vibes. So we are going to reshell these babies along with the ones that I'm currently not working in. And we are going to use this one for Project Dragon. I really like that. That reminds me of like marble, which works for Project Dragon because they live up in the mountains where you can like mine stone and stuff. Even though in this world, they don't mine stone, they mine dragon scales. But yeah, so I'm gonna slowly take this off. I don't know if I will work on Project Dragon today. I feel like I should probably work a little bit on it just so I can like kind of get started. I have been, 
getting ideas for Project Dragon. This past week, I've been working just like I'll be working or I'll be listening to a story and my mind will kind of just like start putting together these dots, like start linking things together that aren't necessarily part of the plot but are really important to the story and like after effects of choices made because I want, I realize that I want this plot to be heavily based off of choices that characters make. So I have to make my characters and uh, really create that political, religious, realm that these characters are entrenched in. So the other day I think I actually put together like how outsiders would be led to the sanctuary thus like putting it in jeopardy which is which is a good a very good thing because I needed a reason for them to officially arrive. I have I had a reason before. I had a reason before but I will have to see which one works better with my plot which is which is really fun. Last night watched <laughs> one and a bit episode of uh, Vampire Diaries before the website that I was using uh, stopped working. <laughs> Lessons when you pirate stuff on the internet. I think it's on Amazon Prime. So I just have to get my dad's sign in again because I forget what it is. Uh, so I can watch it on there rather than pirating it, but I can feel myself easily getting addicted to this trashy TV show You know, I can see it. I can just really see it. It's stupid. It's teen drama It reminds me of the shows that I used to watch in high school because a I did watch season one in high school uh, So that was really fun But then my parents came home from dinner and they had of course socially distant But they brought a few the two people that they went out with because like there's this weird thing where we are that you can't go out for dinner with other people outside of your household but you can like sit at separate tables with those people so that's what they did and then um they came home and brought them home with like they brought them into our basement and and so they were up until like 12 30 last night and i was just like they don't know what time it is they 100 percent don't know what time it is because the clock downstairs is an hour behind because they've never changed it it's like the massive clock on the wall that we have they didn't change it for the time change and um, so I ended up watching Dimension 20 Fantasy High Season 2 until like 1.30 in the morning because I was wide awake at one o'clock in the morning. I was like, this is great. And then I woke up this morning and I feel like I'm really hungover, even though I only had one drink last night. I had one vodka beverage and I feel so hungover, which is not because of the alcohol. It's because of my sleep pattern. <laughs> Anyways, I got my notebook for Project Dragon. We're gonna go upstairs and christen it and get it all pretty. All pretty, I'm just gonna start writing in it. Uh, I'm gonna get myself some coffee and some water and then we're gonna get this day started. my stream I've gone out into the city with mom and as I said earlier I needed to find more of those notebooks that I have and I, when we were at HomeSense I looked to see if I could find any more but there were none and I think that fringe has done these kind of notebooks instead because these are fringe notebooks and they're like the same formatting on the inside and I was like, you know what? <laughs> Screw it. We're just gonna get some spiral bound ones because I like quality of these pages and they're just, they're really nice to write on and these look really cute. So I got that cactusy one that I kept showing. <laughs> I also got this one here that says, expect nothing, appreciate everything. It's very pretty. And then I also got one that says the story so far and it looks really pretty like color wise, but it also looks dirty, which it didn't look dirty before, but it's like the kind of dirty that's like the color has just bled off of it. So it's fine, I don't mind. <laughs> I really don't mind. Uh, most of the time I'm looking at the inside of these anyways. Uh, but these were the nicest ones that were there. Uh, but yes, it is officially 436. I think I'm going to read, perhaps, get some more of Kings of the Wild done. Then it's bingo, then it's dinner, then it's I don't know what because it's evening. 
So I will catch up with you guys then. thought I would pop in with a little bit of an update because I'm wide awake and that's not good. I'm gonna try and go to sleep after this though because I know in the morning I'm gonna be wrecked but it's okay. <laughs> good, today the rest, uh, since I last talked to you I was going to try and read more Kings of the Wild but I got distracted by uh, crocheting and listening to a variety of things. So I listened to another 20% of an NK, the N.K. Jemisin short story audiobook because I got that back from the library finally. And then there was Bingo. And then I listened to like five chapters of Persuasion <laughs> because I remembered that I had to read that uh, for Desi's book club. And then I tried to read some pages of Kings of the Wild and just didn't. Then I listened to a D&D &D podcast, as I usually do. And then I just watched TikTok for like six hours. <laughs> uh, typical Saturday, am I right? <laughs> so tomorrow's Sunday and I have my Skype with my friends in the morning, I think. We never really confirm it anymore, it just kind of happens. And then after that, nothing but reading, so I'm hoping tomorrow I can get some of that done. Oh, I also started re listening to The Centaur's Wife today. And I think this is going to be one of those books that I need to actually sit and read with the audiobook. Physically, we get, like, physically and with the audiobook, because then like I can actually like really pay attention to what's going on. But yeah, so fun. Pretty weird, and I like it. So, that's awesome. But yeah, I really really would like to finish things of the wild tomorrow and then if i have the audiobook for the centaur's wife which i do have i feel like i can get through that pretty quickly because this week is also spring break for my kids and that means i don't have piano in the evenings so that means i can actually do stuff in the evenings <laughs> who would have thought like finish my critique work because i also want to get some of those done tomorrow and plot more for project dragon read. That'd be so nice. I'm so excited to have this week off, but it's Sunday tomorrow, so I'll catch you then. Hello, friends. Happy Sunday. Just got back. Picked up a Sprite from McDonald's because I apparently can't drink any of their drink their like coffee beverages because they make everything with milk. So <laughs> unfortunate, but it's okay. I was the, the Sprite is very quenching. Not a whole lot's going on. I also realized yesterday that I didn't really talk through what I worked on in my live stream. I ended up working on Project Dragon because I had that notebook with me and I was like, okay, we're gonna start filling this up. So I wrote down my main cast of characters and I named everybody. I think everyone had been named except for one guy, and then I gave everybody last names. So we now have a cast of characters, who they are, how long they've been at the sanctuary, how long they've been working there, and like a little bit about each of them and like a little bio kind of a thing. And then I started doing Maeve's character interview, and I am so excited because it's just opening up the story for me. It's giving a backstory not only to Maeve, but to the like start of the sanctuary in Arnavan, and I'm very happy with where it's going. So that's what I worked on yesterday. I should probably do some critique work now because I realized that there's only four days left of <laughs> March, and I said I'd have it back by the 30th, so I should probably get this done. <laughs> get another get another good chunk done today and then probably a chunk tomorrow i think that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm going to probably read kings of the wild do some crocheting and just have a good sunday evening afternoon because it is currently 3 30. that's where i'm at that's where today is hello my lovely friends happy monday i am here apparently my bird friend wanted to say hi <laughs> i wanted to close out this vlog it has just been a simple working day for me today while i was doing a few of the tasks they were pretty menial they were just like 
kind of just filling in data for stuff. I re-picked up the audiobook for The Centaur's Wife and I'm listening to that. I currently have four hours left of the audiobook at two point speed and I'm this far of the way in. I'm on page 83 and I'm, in, I'm liking it so far. It's It reminds me a little bit of The Starless Sea because we have like the main narrative interspersed with like almost fairy tale narratives at the same time but it's also like after an apocalyptic event has occurred where like a meteor has hit earth and has like pieces of a meteor i think because there's been mul there's multiple hits and it's like fiery and people are trying to just pull themselves together i feel like it would remind me of emily st john mandel's books if i had read them <laughs> It feels like the same vibe, so that's really fun. And Amanda Leduc is also, I think she's Canadian. I might be entirely wrong. She has Canada listed in her bio. This book has disabled rep because Amanda Leduc is also disabled, so that's awesome. And I love reading this. She's also the lady who wrote that uh, nonfiction book about being disabled and fairy tales. I have yet to read it, but it is on my list for nonfiction to read because. My friend who has read this book also absolutely adores it and Kayla from Books and Lala absolutely adores that as well. So it's on my list for nonfiction to read when I get around to nonfiction, but I'm liking this so far and I'm intrigued to see where it goes. But since there's only four hours left, I'm gonna see if I can also finish this before the end of March, along with Kings of the Wild because I have not read that book. <laughs> And I need to read, I need to finish it. This weekend at least. I finished Midnight Bargain, which was like the last, like not even 100 pages of it. Amazing, loved it. I gave that one four and a half stars. It was so, so good, I really, really loved it. And then I didn't really read anything else this weekend other than my critique partner's work. So I've read about 210 pages of her work this weekend as well. So like technically I was reading books, it just isn't like something I can count towards my end of year reading goal or my monthly reading goal or anything, but I'm considering it as something that I did this weekend because I'm very happy with where I am with that. I have time tonight because I'm not teaching, so I'm going to probably spend the next little while just crushing the last like 150 pages that I have left of it. I am very excited because we are past the halfway point, things are starting to spiral and it's great. I'm enjoying it a lot. So have that and we're at the end of this weekend vlog because it is no longer the weekend, it is Monday. So I will catch you in another video very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Stay kind and keep on reading. Bye guys.